day one of the 2023 Motul FIM Superbike World Championships. Action from Barcelona is in the history books and it was a dominant display by Ducati. Alvaro Bautista banging in the top times and not just that, but a strong race pace too. Plenty of laps in the 142 region. He is the favorite going into Saturday and Sunday. Teammate Michael Ruben Rinaldi has made it clear that he wants to challenge his teammate for a first victory in two years. He'll have to work hard to get it. Third place, Jonathan Ray. He had new items on the chassis to test out. But they didn't go all to plan. It'll be back to base setup for him on Saturday. He was third overall on Friday. Top back, Raz Gatlioglu, without a win in his time in World Superbike at the Barcelona circuit. What can he do throughout the remainder of the weekend? Fresh from MotoGP duty a week ago and actually stating that it has helped him in getting back up to speed straight away. Ika Laquona flies the flag for Honda in fifth. Sixth place was Andrea Locatelli, the number 55, the second Yamaha in the standings, not only in the championship, but also in the Friday order. He did suffer a crash though at turn five, but he was all okay. Dominic Agata, top independent, he took seventh. Whilst it wasn't ideal for home hero, Xavi Vierge. He crashed in free practice one at turn one, but thankfully he was up and okay. He finished eighth overall at the end of the day. What can he do in his home round weekend? The combined practice times, it's a Ducati 1-2. Alvaro Bautista, one of just a few riders to improve in the afternoon session. Ray, Razgatlioglu, Lacona, Locatelli after crashing at turn five. Agata, the top independent, Vierge Lowe's, and Garrett Gerloff, top BMW in 10th position. Scott Redding, 11th. Remy Gardner, Axel Bassani, and Danilo Petrucci, they'll all want to improve and crack the top 10 on Saturday and Sunday. Whilst all the way down the field, Evo Lopez replaces Michael Vandermark, who's out injured for this round. We caught up with pace setter Alvaro Bautista ahead of Saturday. Yeah, for sure, I think today has been very positive, especially because we were focused on the race pace. No, uh, In the morning, I tried the, the new spec that Pirelli brought here uh, on the front. Uh, I didn't have uh, really good feedback on the tire, no. But uh, the bike was working like uh, more or less normal, so uh, we decided just to uh, to to do the race distance to to see how was the the tire at the end, no. And yeah, it was quite consistent, but the feeling was not too too, too good from the from the beginning, no. So also on the rear uh, this morning with the SCX tire that maybe was not the best uh, moment to use it, but uh, we wanted to use just to uh, to see how was for race distance. No, I felt a uh, big drop uh, this morning. So in the afternoon, uh, we used the SC1 in the front. That is the tire I, I like it. And suddenly I found I found a good feeling with the bike and I feel that the bike uh, work like uh, in the test or the, the other round.